Hello and welcome to the comparison everyone wants to see, the Tour Dynamics versus one of the all-time goats, the IQ Tour Solid. It seems I created a little buzz suggesting the TD is set to dethrone the IQ TS, so we're going to take a look and see which end I'm talking out of. Before we get started, big shout out and thanks as always to Royal Crest Lanes, they're a big part of bringing these videos to you. All it takes is a text and we have everything we need. Also my code ROSEDALL10 will get you 10% off your order at checkout at Coolwick, and if you check the description you'll find a bunch of helpful links and information including our personal specs and links to buy each of these balls at Bowlers Mart. I do receive a 5% commission on all sales through the links. On paper these balls are very similar but that was the intent. The Tour Dynamics features the Rondeur Tour Core coming in at a 247RG, an 026 differential, and an 010 intermediate differential, split, PSA, what have you, in 15 pounds. The cover is the new Tour Track Solid, which is based on Roto's medium strength VTC cover from the Hypes and Hustles. The IQ Tour features the Centripetal C3 Core, which comes in at a 249RG and an 029 differential in 15 pounds, and it is, of course, symmetrical. Its cover is Storm's flagship medium strength R2S solid, which is very similar in strength to Tour Tracks, but which I think has the edge by a whisker. Both of these balls are designed to be the ultimate in effective control for combating difficult and or over under conditions by rolling strong but being slower response to control the lane both front to back and side to side. The wrinkle is in the mild asymmetry of the TD, which I think is the key to this comparison. I'll play a few shots to let you get an unbiased look yourself and then we'll break it down. For starters, I'm not being negative about the IQ Tour, especially as a lefty because it's one of our holy trinity, pitch black, high road, and IQTS. The quiet, round, uber-stable, buttery motion of the IQ Tour is the ultimate security blanket for serious tournament bowlers. In addition, it's a single color darker ball with dark labels, which removes any and all visual clutter for complete optical clarity when it comes to reading the ball motion. The round continuous motion hides most physical mistakes and does what it's designed to do, and that's get you to the pocket no matter what. It fits a wide variety of bowlers and styles, though it does lean in the direction of favoring higher rev rates. The TD, on the other hand, resembles the Phase 2 at a glance as far as overall shape goes. It's the cleanish, firm arc that has a lot of versatility of shape. 
The IQ wants to just be round and continuous no matter what you do with it. Uh, the TD, like the P2, can be round and continuous, but can also be sharp and forward depending on what you do with your hand. Where the IQ is better at hiding physical errors, the TD gives you more utility, meaning the better you are, the better it will be, and that gives you much more to work with when it comes to lane play and moving around. In short, my observation is that the TD is capable of doing everything the IQ can, but it also has a second gear the IQ just doesn't have, namely the one Achilles heel of the IQ being the hook stop. What I mean by that is that the IQ is known for hitting the pocket, but it's also known for getting 9 a lot. Oftentimes, if you don't pure the shot, the IQ hits the back end and gives up and leaves a flat corner. Now, this is also something the Tour Dynamics is going to do too. Anything more controllable in general is going to be prone to finishing a little too slow. Like I mentioned earlier though, the core is virtually the same but with a small bit of asymmetry which adds a subtle amount of torque that helps the TD overcome this issue more often than the IQ. The TD rolls a bit earlier then adds a touch more firmness which helps it pull up and drive more often rather than getting to the spot and giving up occasionally like the IQ does. The last point is about the optics with the TD. The yellow labels stand out, and even though the colors are darker, there's a lot more going on visually. However, it's very similar to the P2, again, from an optics standpoint, and if you can read the P2 without an issue, should be the same deal with the TD. The TD reaction shape is a lot more readable, I think, though. It's clearer what the ball is doing and when it's doing it versus the IQ, so I find them equally as easy to read little more visual clutter with the TD, but the reaction is a little more defined, so I think they offset. In closing, I think the TD is a refined IQ Tour. It gives you the same positives with fewer negatives, versatility is up, usability is up, and I think it will fit a wider audience on a wider variety of conditions. Uh, this isn't hype or me trying to be abstract for the sake of contrived controversy. This is just what I see and how I'm calling it, and if the result is controversial or if you're skeptical, so be it. This is what I see, what I think, and where I'm going to stand at the moment, barring further examination, but I've also already got a couple league nights and tournaments on it, and those experiences have only continued to confirm my initial impressions. I have a review up for the Tour Dynamics if you want a deeper look, as well as more comparisons to come. The TD will release on August 18th. Down in the description is a link to Bowler's Mart that will get one ordered for you, and of course, don't forget my code ROSEDALL10 to get 10% off your order at checkout at CoolWig. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.